Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Russell Team and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is simple as the only way I can my videos. It is time. What's up, Russell Team? Make sure to subscribe to get my Premier League 2016 2017-2018 predictions. This is gonna be controversial. I mean Arsenal winning the league, cut the renegade. Only joking, only joking, only joking. Again, I wanna state before I get this video, it is my own opinions. I hope you respect my opinions, I will respect your opinions. And um I'm not saying this is gonna happen. I'm more like more than likely gonna get all this wrong and Arsenal gonna end up getting relegated. But I'm trying to say that this is my own opinions and I hope you respect them. Just please do not hope and do not hate. Um and before I get this video, I think last video my vlog and the video before that a vlog and the video next will be a vlog. No, I am not taking vlog. There's been a lot of subscribers that have come to my channel from AFT Younger or whatsoever. You don't might know, but I do a shout out series. I shout out a lot of my subscribers before my video starts. And if you want to shout out my next video, all you got to do, man, it's simple. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Simple. Then turn the notifications on. And after that, comment down below. Hashtag Team 14. Join the team that is better than whatever Team 10 or whatever side men. Who are they? Team 14 all the way. Okay. So, let's begin the controversy, or whatever you want to say. Whatever, let's get straight into this. Um, so, 20th place, simple as Tottenham, just Tottenham. I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. 20th place for me is going to be Huddersfield, simple as for me. They don't have enough Premier League proven players. There's some players like Mui uh, from Man City, who was their player of the year last year. But if you just look at their squad, there's not enough quality, they don't have enough goal scorers. When you look at the squad, they're probably the weakest squad out of the rest of the Premier League. They might have a decent manager in Wagner, but I don't really see them playing to the same level they were last year. And how they're going to stay up, I have no idea, but I just... First thing that Huddersfield will finish 20th place. Into 19th place and I'm going for Brighton. Yes, Brighton, the place where it has that good beach. That's how I know Brighton. Okay, I'm joking. But Brighton for me, again, they haven't made no big signings. They've signed players like Danny Proper, don't know who he is, and also Matthew Ryan, again, don't know who he is. They don't really look like a squad that is a Premier League squad. But I just think Brighton don't have that team that can really keep them up. I mean, they've got the goal scorer. Who's the goal scorer? Glenn Murray. Really? They might have a few Premier League proven players like Steven Sidwell, but again, Steven Sidwell is nothing special. Can Anthony Knockhart perform this year? I mean, I want to know your comments. Anthony Knockhart, he might be the Red Mores uh, like a few years ago. He, he might actually be the Delta Rad. I don't know. Can he perform in the league? Even somewhere close to the level he was last year, then they will stay up. I don't think he will. I think he'll struggle. And I think he might get picked headed by the team. 90 plays for Brighton. On to 18 plays, I am going for Swansea. Yes, Swansea. Um, I think, simple as I think they'll lose Sigurdsson. And if they lose Sigurdsson, I don't know how they're going to stay up because he is their talisman. It's 50 million pounds Sigurdsson. I what is the point of 50 million pounds for Sigurdsson? <sighs> okay, but I just think they were lucky to first day of last year and if they lose Sigurdsson, who's gonna find that service for Lorente? For Lorente for me is a striker who feeds off fantastic service and their chief creator and chief player that makes service happen is Sigurdsson. If they lose Sigurdsson, where's the blow? I think it's gonna be interesting to see how a player like Tammy Abraham um, adapts to the Premier League. I don't really think Abraham is enough. I mean, he was fantastic last year, Abraham, uh, but I don't know if he's enough to keep them up in the league because they need a proven goal scorer. Can he be their proven goal scorer? I don't know. I personally think they're gonna get relegated this year and yeah, 18th place. For Swansea, 17th place, the team that stay up, first things first, Burnley. Fighting last year, they have a fantastic man in Sean Dice. They might have lost um, Damari, no, not Damari, Andre Gray to Watford, which, yeah, it strengthens the rival and also makes their own team weaker. But I think they've made a few shrewd acquisitions in players like John Walters. Again, he's a decent player. They also have a player like Jack Cook, who's a solid signing. And I think they've got a fantastic manager who keep them up once again. They will stay up by the skin of the teeth, but they will stay up. Burnley, you are staying up this year. And yeah, okay, with that being said, Burnley. 17th place for you lot. On to 16th place, I am going for Watford. I mean, they've changed their manager, but they've probably got a better manager now. They've made a few good signings players, like the signing Andre Gray from the rivals of Burnley. And also, they've got Troy Deeney, who scored a bag full of goals for Watford again this season. Um, they've also signed players like Chaluba, who I want to see how he does. Uh, he's always been in the brink of getting that Chelsea squad, but he hasn't really got in yet. I want to see how he does. And also, they've got a lot of Premier League proven players, like players like Eunice Cabal, Tom Cleverley, and Panzer Lemon. And they know how the league works. And that's why I think it will be key in Watford staying up this year. They'll finish six. 15th place for me. In 15th place, and I'm going for West Brom a Javian. Just can't be asked, man. West Brom. They've become that Tony Pinnish team that no one really cares about. They're just boring. They're hard to play, fair enough, but they're just kind of boring. Um, they made a few good signings. Player Jay Rodriguez, it's a fantastic signing. They've got a player also like Salomon Sol Sol uh, Ronzon, who will score goals for them. Tony Pinnish is a manager who, yeah, he keeps his teams up and he plays boring football, but he will do well defensively. And the player like Rondon and Jay Rodriguez, they will score goals. If, and yeah, Jay Rodriguez, if he's fit somehow, will score goals. And that's why I think West Brom will stay up and stay 15th place. Enter 14th place and I'm going for Bournemouth. Yes, again, this is a fantastic place for them. So knowing how small of the club they are and they were playing League 2 only in 2010, which is, yes, yeah, a long time ago, but still, 2010. 
four four times as small. They've got a manager Eddie Howe who I feel like if he continues the way he's continuing, it will be picked up by a bigger team in the next few years. Um, and they've also got a few players like Josh King. They've also made for me two very good signings, Nathan Ake, uh, their record signing from Chelsea, and also Alvin Begovic from Chelsea again. But they were strengthening the team and only strengthening the position in the Premier League. And also I think it kind of the firing. Oh, and if Josh King can ramp some of this all from last year, then I think Bournemouth will stay up quite comfortably. And that's why I think they're going to finish 14th. That's 14. 14. Lucky place. Okay. Into 13th place, and I'm going for Crystal Palace. Um, they've lost some other dice, which gets a blow, but they've got uh, Frank Debo, who is a good manager. Uh, they made a few good signings with Josh Rywald. Um, and they also lost this sheet from Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, oh my god, I'm not awake right now. From Chelsea. We, 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 I think it'll be interesting to see how he plays. Uh, he's on loan, obviously. I wouldn't be surprised if he plays consistently. He might even get England call up later on in the season. You never know. And they were also Chris Stanley, first two members of Man United, who is, again, is a fantastic young player who's going to be hungry for first team opportunities. And they've also got Christian Benteke, who will score goals. He's a top 10 Premier League goal scorer and he's a fantastic goal scorer. Okay, 13th place for Crystal Palace. And in 12th place, I'm going. For Newcastle, yes, the new boys back in the league. But you know, Mayweather. And yeah, shout out to the two um, your team is back and they've got a fantastic manager in Rafa Benitez who is a Champions League winning manager. How have they got him? How? He can manage bigger teams than Newcastle, sorry to say that. Um, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if he moves on, but if he stays, they will finish quite comfortably in the league. Tough list for them in the, in the season back, there's a good position. They've got a few special players like Matt Ritchie and also Diame. I mean, I want to also see how a player like Dwight Gill does at a starting club in Premier League. Because he never really starts in the league when he, whenever he's playing in the Premier League. Uh, but now he's, he's at a club in Newcastle where he will start. I want to see how, how many goals he scores because he looks like a decent player. And that's why I think Newcastle will finish 12th. In 11th place, I'm going for Stoke City. City, whatever. Um, they lost Salatovic, yeah, it's a blow, but it's not a major blow. He's in the greatest of players and he was a decent player for uh, Stoke City. But they made a few good signings um, in Darren Fletcher from West Brom and also Kurt Zuma. Good signing, and if Butland can be as OP as he is on FIFA, then there's all chances of Stoke City win the league. But um, this is not FIFA. They've got a few potential players that are fantastic players, like Shakiri and also Boyan's coming back from loan. And if they can perform to the level they should be, they will finish quite comfortably in 11th place. Done. In the 10th, and I'm going for Southampton. Okay. The reason for this is because other teams in the league have really strengthened their team. So Southampton haven't signed anyone really yet. If they lose Van Dyke, it's a, it's a blow. That's not a major blow because they were still doing decent without him last season. For me, they've got a great goal scorer in Paolo Gabbiadini. They've got a manager in Pellegrino. Um, and if, if Sofia or Buffao can find his feet, then there's all chances of Southampton doing good. But 10th place again, it's a good finish for them. Um, and yeah, halfway marks for the Saints. Now it's 9th place and I'm going for the Foxes. Leicester City, yay, okay. Jamie Vardy's having a party, bring your vodka around to Charlie! I think losing Morris could uh, potentially do massive damage. He is, there for me, their best player, quality-wise, talented-wise. But I might also give a chance for a player like Damari Gray, who's been waiting for that first team opportunity. But also, I think he might want to move on. A club like Chelsea is interested in, which I don't understand. He's not going to play at Chelsea. What's the point of going? But they made a few good signings Harry Maguire and also Kelechi Hernacho, who I think is a bargain at £25 million. For a player like his quality and his age, I don't know how they made that happen, but they've got Kelechi Hernacho. And it's going to be interesting how Vardy and Hernacho play together. They've also got players like Drew Gordon in that team, players like... Schmeichel and Gold. They're a league winning team. Let's not forget, they won the league only two seasons ago. And wow, this team will finish ninth for me. The reason for that is because other teams for me have, have a better squad and team in general. I want to see how Craig Shakespeare does because it's going to be hard for him to keep the players happy. Like, if Ranieri can keep his team happy, how is Shakespeare going to do that? I don't know. But I think let's see will finish ninth. Into eighth place, and I am going for West Ham United, the Irons, yes, okay. The reason for this is because they've had an iffy summer. I mean, they've got a few good players. I mean, Hernandez for me is a bargain. For, he's maybe aging, but he doesn't rely on his pace. And I think even at the age of 33, he'll still score goals because he's one of those players that will just get into positions and finish his chances. That's why I think he's a good signing. Maybe also Arnautovic could be a fantastic signing for them. 20 million pounds, which I don't know what to seen for him. But again, he, he's improved their squad. Um, and I think Andy Carroll fit. Yeah, miracles probably could happen. And play Hernandez next to him. It will be interesting to see how those two together but again how can they keep Andy Carroll fit it's it's impossible it's not logic whatever and I think they will finish 8th place which is good for them West Ham United 8th place decent into 7th place and I'm going for Everton the reason for this is because yeah they've made a few good signings but they lost their goal scorer and Romelu Lukaku Pickford Sandro Keane they're very good signings but they don't have the goal scorer. They've got Waza coming back to the club, which is going to be interesting to see how he does. 
Um, maybe him and Sandra Ramirez can share the goals, but they don't have that goal scorer that I think will keep them up and fight them in the top four even higher. And also, that, I mean, apparently they're going for Gilfie Sigurdsson, and I just don't understand why Gilfie Sigurdsson, when you've also got a quality player like Ross Barkley. Don't understand that. But I mean, Ronald Koeman may be able to make the best out of his players, maybe give a chance to Sandra Ramirez in the Premier League. It's going to be interesting to see how he performs. But overall, seventh place is the highest for me that ever they can finish. <sighs> okay. Ah, time for the controversial ones. Sixth place. <sighs> Okay, in six this I have gone for Tottenham Hotspur. Yay! Tottenham Hotspur hold a below Arsenal. Not biased at all. Hear me out. The reason for this is simple. Like Tottenham Hotspur, they haven't made a lot of signings, have they? I mean, no signings at all. They've got a fantastic eleven. They're in the Champions League again, and I think I mean it's got to a point where Pochettino is going to have to pull the Champions League a little bit. Um, do they have the squad? Not in, not for me particular. They've got a fantastic first eleven, but the squad wise on the bench, they don't have enough players coming off. Like players like Harry Wick, is he enough to help them win the league? No. And I think they're also playing at Wembley is going to be a major factor for them. Pochettino is a fantastic manager, but for me, sixth place is going to be the place for Spurs. So yeah, the return of St. Rooms Day. Can't bloody wait. And in fifth place, again, controversy. It's Chelsea. <sighs> I'm gonna get a lot of dislikes, aren't I? Basically, the reason why I've got Chelsea is because look at their squad. It is this big. It is literally so small. They've got first 17 players in the first team. That is including Remy, Costa, and Masonda, who are all looked set to leave. So then they're gonna have 14 first team players. They've got Champions League football and Premier League football. And how they're gonna perform in both, I don't understand. It can all change if Chelsea make a few of the good signings. Like if they sign players like Oxlade Chamberlain, Drew Water, Demari Gay, yeah, it will help them. But if they don't make the signings, which I don't see them how they're gonna do all of them at once, then I think Chelsea will finish fifth and they will struggle. I would also be surprised to see if Anti Con Antonio Conte leaves because I don't think he's got the players that he's been wanting. I mean, I think he wanted Lukaku, he ended up with Morata. Just why? I mean, they have the strength in. Um, they've lost Costa and they bought Morata, who's not for me a strength in the signing. Maybe in a few years he might be. And also Hazard is injured, so don't know what's going to happen there. With the small squad and the Champions League, it is not a good sign. And for me, Chelsea are finishing fifth. Controversial, say what you want. Into the Champions League places now. Woo! The Champions League. Something I have to forget for the one season because we're in the Europa League. Okay, I have put fourth place Liverpool again. Which is weird because they signed Mohamed Salah. Sure, it should be improvement for them. But I'm saying, I don't think they've strengthened the squad. They need squad players. And also, I think they're going to lose Felipe Coutinho to Barcelona. Um, and if they lose Coutinho, then I mean, they'll they suffer badly because he is their talisman. He is their best player. But maybe if they sign Naby Keita from Leipzig, then yeah, he might replace them. But losing Coutinho it will be a major blow. Again, the squad's quite small and, and they're back in the Champions League this year. It will be hard for Klopp to play in the Champions League and Premier League. I, I think they'll struggle. That's why I think they'll finish fourth. Which again, it's Champions League football. It's good. It's decent. Champions League football. Yes! Liverpool fans. And in third place, I think you should know who's playing in position. And one for my boys, Arsenal FC. Yeah. Arsenal, third place. Basically simple as we made a few good signings. I mean, side clash like left back, it's a good signing. He can also be centre back first. And he's a bloody I was about to swear. And he is a bloody beast of a player. I mean just <laughs> lad, okay? And also we have signed finally a striker that is gonna score goals for us. And Alexandra Laka City or Z. Alexandra Laka Z. With Azul behind him, hopefully. He was scoring back for the goal. I also think when Arsenal in the Europa League, I don't think Wenger will take it seriously. Bloody fly! I just think with the Europa League, I don't think Wenger will take it seriously. I think he'll play a lot of youngsters. I, I think he said it before in previous as well. I think if we don't probably focus on the Europa League, then we have a fantastic chance to challenge in the league. And if we play Alex Sanchez, which is good, it's going to be hard. In fact, we will we come close to challenges for the league. I don't think we're quite close to winning the league yet. I think to do that, we have to sign a fantastic centre midfielder. I mean, Arsene Wenger. Sign Thomas Lemar. Apart from that, I think we are just that one central midfielder away from trying to probably challenge for the league. Um, and if Wenger could do that. And also, if he can keep Sanchez, and also if he can subscribe to Basel 14, it would mean a lot to me. Thank Subscribe to Verse 14! But with that being said, I am going for third place for the Arsenal. Please do not hate me, please. And in second place, I am going for obviously the two Manchester Cubs left. Manchester United. Yes, they're going to finish above Arsenal, which I don't like. But I have to admit, they have got quite a first 11. I mean, Pogba, Matic, and Herrera. Forget about Herrera, but Pogba and Matic. And also, they've got Romelu Lukaku up front, who are absolutely bloody right. He's such a fantastic. Goal scorer. He was going back full of goals. I think he might even win the goalie boot next year with Pogba behind him. I just think for United, the reason why they are not gonna win the league for me next year is because they don't have they're not gonna have the output from the wingers. Why I mean wingers is mean Rashford and Martial. If Martial had seen what he was having a few years ago, then they will win the league. I don't really think Martial will get enough playing time this year. And Rashford can he be relied upon to score the goals or help score the goals to win the league? I'm not quite sure yet. So if they send Gareth Bale, then I mean just 
why don't we just give up already? But it happens in Garfield, yeah, and if they don't sign a wide midfielder, I don't think they'll win the league. Um, but they will be dangerous. They will be bloody dangerous. And if Zlatan returns, then oh, okay. Then it will be even more dangerous. But for me, Man United will fall a one little goal scorer apart from Wendy. And also, they don't really have a second striker with Zlatan injured until January. So maybe that might be an issue. But second place for United, for me. And in first place, I think you've guessed it already. It is Arsenal. Wait, I said Arsenal third. I'm only joking. I'm going for Manchester City. 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 Basically, they for me will land the title. The title is returning to Manchester. And I mean, if you're if you're not convinced by Man City yet, just listen to this. They've signed a left back in Benjamin Mendy. Wow. They signed a right back in Kawuka. Wow. And they've also got Daniel who can pretty much play both positions. Again, wow. You can't go worse, brother. And Edison looks like a good goalkeeper. And also, they have signed Bernardo Silva. Okay. Jeez. And if you still want to convince somehow, let me just let you know of their midfield. Let me read this out because there's so many players here. They have got David Silva, Yaya Torre, Leroy Sané, Samir Nazri, LK Gunzawan, Fernandinho, Raheem Sterling, and Kevin De Bruyne. What? Just wow. That is the midfield there that could win the league quite easily. Wow, what midfield. And also up front, they've got Gabriel Jesus and Sergio Aguero. Aguero. Okay, now it gets scary. And also they've got Pep Guardiola, who, yes, people make fun of him for not winning a trophy last year. But bloody hell has he got a record at Barcelona and Bayern Munich. And if his team kicks, then for me, Man City will win the league quite comfortably. There's only a matter of time before his team clicks. And when he does, it is going to be scary and he's going to have a next season. That's why I think Man City will win the league and they will also challenge the Champions League, maybe get the finals. <sighs> Man City is scary and that's why for me, they will win the league next season. <sighs> okay, take a deep breath. That was quite a long video. I don't usually make videos this long, um, but what would your team be? Comment down below your top four, your bottom three, and whatever else you comment. Where would your team, where is your team gonna finish? Comment down below your opinions, and also subscribe to my channel if you are new, and also, I'm that close to 500 subscribers, only a couple of subscribers away, so I would really appreciate if you go down there and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And with that being said, my name is Russell Team, this is just a long video, I'm, I'm getting tired. Yeah, keep safe, keep smiling, and peace. The Premier League's back, come on, bye. Come on now. I know you know it makes sense. Subscribe now.